This is the KRQE News 13 Sports Desk with Van Tate. They will return to the pitch seeking redemption this Saturday. New Mexico United still on top in Group C with a two-point lead over second place El Paso, but Jones in for a bounce back victory. United is at Colorado Springs Switchback FC, a team they defeated last month. A win would not only give them three points in the division, but also help ease the pain of getting handled by Phoenix Rising FC 5-2 last weekend. That one game doesn't define our season. It doesn't define who we are as a team because that's clearly not who we are, a 5-2 loss. Uh, so just being able to turn around and, and put our focus elsewhere and, and get a good result and a good you know, bounce back up against Phoenix is something we're looking forward to. What, once again, New Mexico United is on the road, and with the state health guidelines due to COVID-19 still intact, they aren't sure when or if they will have a home game this season. The club will cover three games in seven days and is doing its best to guard against roll fatigue. A decision for us about the, the fatigue and how we want to let it affect us in terms of, again, do we, want to, do we want to lean on that as a crutch? Do we want to lean on that as an excuse? It's a reality of the situation, but we're going to continue to try to put ourselves in the best position possible regardless of those circumstances to win games. Match time, 3 p.m. Saturday. One more note, the USL has administered over 1,200 COVID-19 tests for players and coaches in the league. So far, New, New Mexico United hasn't had anyone test positive. When well, the Mountain West shut down fall sports due to the coronavirus pandemic, the Lobo men's and women's cross country team looked at the situation with veteran eyes. Most not, do not remember that they have seen it all before. It's a disappointment of the, for many reasons, but this is the third time this has hit us. You know, a lot of these men and women, uh, they're going through it for the first time. Okay. You know, we get canceled at the uh, Mountain West or at the NCAA championship the day before. Then we get canceled outdoor. Then we get canceled indoors. So the positive is our students have three opportunities. The negative is we have three opportunities. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of been a little bit of a emotional roller coaster. Men's team much improved this year. Lobos are hoping they've seen the last of postponements. Some NFL teams have decided not to have fans in the stands during the 2020 season. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones having no part of that. Jones says the Cowboys will play in front of fans using a pod formula at AT&T Stadium. The team will be allowed to use only 50% of capacity. Next to the best thing of the isotopes, Colorado Rockies hosting the Arizona Diamondbacks in matinee game. Bottom two, Nolan Arenado putting his team on the board with the solo shot to tie the game. He would hit a pair, but Starling Marte is good. He would send one out of the yard, and he would drive in four runs in this game. Rockies fall 13-7 is the final. Artesia Week continues in the lost season with a cheerleader who watched her favorite competition disappear for senior year. Hi, my name is Haley Wright and I'm a class of 2020 senior from Artesia High School and my sport is cheerleading. What a lot of people don't realize about cheerleading is we're a team all throughout the school year and we spend the first half of the school year cheering on our other sports teams and then in the springtime it's our competition season. For the past three years at the state spirit competition we placed in the top three as well as winning several cheer competitions locally throughout the years. This year, for the first time since 2017, we were able to bring home a district championship as well as being named Graham Champs. And individually, I was selected for the all district team this season. So unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, our state competition was canceled just two weeks out from our competition. And as a team, we were ready. We had a really, really successful season, and we were accomplishing big things. And we really had the determination to go and finally win that state championship this year. When we got the news about the state competition being canceled, of course, as a senior, this was a big letdown because this was my last shot at a state competition. But I really tried to focus on the positives of the season and not necessarily the negatives. Cheerleading has been my life for the past five years and I will always love the sport, but I'm excited to see what my next chapter holds as I attend NMSU this fall to further my education. All right, that's a wrap for us. More sports on Fox New Mexico at 9 and on KRQE News 13 at 10 on Channel 13. We'll see you soon.